ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஹவு ஆர் செல்ஃப் லைக் ஹவு கேன் வி ஆர் செல்ஃப் கிரியேட் தி ஏபிஐ ஸ்கிரிப்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் தி வெப் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ வீல் சி ஹவு டு யூஸ் தி செகண்ட் ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸர் விச் இஸ் தி யூசர் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் வி வில் சி ஹவு அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் அண்ட் யூசர் பேராமீட்டர் ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் வித் ஹவு டு கிரியேட் தி API request so today we'll see how to create or how is this API get requests work and secondly we'll see how to do the user parameter substitution and we'll see what is a user parameter and what is the difference between user parameter preprocessor and the other various other components in gmeter so before we move on to the video this is me your son shanmugam if you have not subscribed yet to our little sla youtube channel please do subscribe to our channel like comment and share the videos with your friends so with no any further delay let's move on to the video so for creating the web or the api script we need a test all thread group so let's create it using the template so we'll go to the template and we will just create a simple http request and let's click on create and then another create let's click on yes so now we have got a thread group and under that we have got a http request so let me remove this this as well so now we have got a http request with a name t body and there are no parameters in it and we just have a header a header manager and let me remove it so you just have a plain http request now let me go to the application so here i have the jpet store demo application and to find the api request for this application i just want to click f12 that is the developer the open developer tools and i'm opening the dev- developer tool and for that again let me tell you i just clicked f12 and under this there are various tabs we have elements console sources network performance memory application security lighthouse csr overview and developer resources and for this particular thing let's go to the network tab and under this network tab let us i'm stop recording and again i'm starting the recording and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on fish and here you can see that the requested url is this which is the petstore.octopuff.com slash actions catalog and view category and category ID is equal to fish so what are we going to do now so let me move this to the application so i just copied it from the pet store and what i'm going to do now is the protocol is https as we already saw and inside the server name what i'm going to do is i'm just keeping only the pet store dot octop of dot com so this is the basic rule anything after the dot com has to come under the path and then now we'll go back to the application and here we see the request method is get so let's go to the http request method and move, make it as get and now let's move on to the next request which is the dogs i'm clicking on dogs here and here you can see the same thing so again the same request is here so what we'll do now is let us duplicate this request and now we have fish and the second one is dogs so let's copy paste it here so let's keep it as dogs now let's go to the third option which is the reptiles and again it's the same thing here so let's just copy the reptiles and keep it and now let me duplicate this request let me come to the third one and i'm just pasting the reptiles here and now we'll go back to the application with the fourth api request which is the cats and i'm clicking on the request and here you can see the cats part i'm just copying it and there i'm duplicating this request it's the same everything is same the protocol is same you can see here it's https and it's a get method and the url is same then let's change it to cats and finally the birds So let's again go back duplicate it make it to sorry it's birds so what we will do now is let's 
click on the thread group let's choose the listener which is the view results tree and the next thing is let us run this script and see how does it work so I'm running the script now and in the view results tree let's go to the HTML option here and then the response data and here you can see the fishes are here and when I'm going to the dog it's the dogs section and then it's the reptiles sorry this is the reptiles and here is the birds and here is the cats so let's change the names here as well so let's change the names to fish and second to dogs so all these are HTTP requests we'll see about the post request in another video for now let's see the hash, the get request and then the third one is birds then the reptiles so in this way we can change or we can create the get api requests so so far we saw a single get request and we are using it for five different values right so now what we are going to do is we are going to use a parameter and we are going to remove all these requests into one single request and let's see how to do that and for that what we have to do is first let's add a preprocessor and the preprocessor is user parameters and here we have the user parameter and I'm going to give the name as pets so a name is going to be pets and the first one is fish and let me just copy the fish and I'm pasting it here and the second value is going to be second value is going to be dogs let me just copy the dogs here and I'm pasting it here and then add the next sorry it's the next user for the next for the third user we are adding cats and then for the fourth it has to be birds and then finally it has to be reptiles right so let us clear it now and what we are going to do now is I'm removing all the other fire records I'm just disabling it from running and then in the thread group I'm just keeping the look count to 5 and in the user parameters I'm just changing it this update once per iteration I'm just making it to work and let's run this script again and let's see how does it work so I'm just starting the script and here we can see that the fish has got processed and in the second one I think I have not changed it yet okay and for replacing it what we have to do is it's the same like what we do for parameterization it's choosing the dollar symbol and open bracket and pets it's actually capital pets closing it now so for that I'm just referring it here so pets is what we have and then we have what got the pets let's clear it and run the test again and for the first one it is even we can do the same here so what we can do is we will have pets here and let us run the script again let me check it again and so what was the initially what was the mistake was I have got five one user with five threads so what will happen is it is going to be the first user so the first user is fish and the next time what I did is I'm changing this to five users and the iteration is going to be one and this will work now you can see here so the fish dogs cats birds and reptiles and this will work now and the reason is we have chosen update once per iteration so for every iteration for each user it automatically gets changed and that is how it works so in this way we can pass the values to the 
request and there is a difference between the CSV file that is the config element where we set the CSV dataset config and there is a difference in this because in user parameters we might not be able to add bulk users like what we do in the CSV dataset config here we can have any number of data and we can even have various other options in here but those are limited when it comes to user parameters and here we can give the parameters directly to the request and that's the one advantage of having it we can add any number of variables and any number of users but it has to happen manually and but this is again another useful preprocessor which jmeter provides us so i think this video would have been very useful to you until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from us and let us law